What's up? Welcome back to the channel. DK here with this Click Magic tutorial. And in this video, we're going to talk about setting up Click Magic rotators. So, again, like I mentioned in the other videos, if you have uh, a network marketing team, an affiliate marketing team, or you just, you know, you want to diversify and you want to set up a bunch of different uh, links that you can send uh, traffic to simultaneously, we're going to talk about setting up a rotator. Now, this is kind of similar to uh, split testing, which we talked about in another video. If you're just catching this video and you haven't seen any of the other videos in this Click Magic tutorial series, what you want to do is hit the link in the descriptions down below and start there because at this point we've already covered a lot of information. So this stuff might be a little over your head. Number one, if you don't have a Click Magic account and you know you're just trying to see if Click Magic is a fit for you, again, link in the description down below. You can take a two-week trial for free won't cost you a dime and you'll be able to see if click magic is for you now plain and simple if you're a serious entrepreneur or you consider yourself a serious entrepreneur business owner affiliate marketer network marketer whatever it is you want to track your data end of story you want to track your data click magic is a great way to do that and not to mention you can also earn you know a pretty decent amount of money, which I've shown you in some of these other videos here, but you know, it's not, this isn't like walk away, you know, retire your, your family income, but you know, it's a little something, something on the side. And if you're just looking to become an affiliate uh, with click magic and you're looking at the affiliate program, this could be, you know, something that you may want to take a look at. Now, again, link in the description down below, you can go create your account, get that all set up. Now, the rotator is going to be similar to the split testing that we did in another video, but it's going to be a little different. You can do a little more in depth here. So I'm going to show you how to set up a basic rotator link and start rotating. Okay. Other links. Again, if you are running a team and you want to, you know, send clicks out to uh, people on your team, you want to help your team get sales. Uh, you can certainly do that. Now in another video, we created another rotator link. I'm gonna create a brand new link. Okay, I'm gonna create a brand new link uh, from scratch and show you exactly how that's done, okay? So this is gonna be a little different than the last rotator link that we created. So what I'm gonna do is, and just to show you an example too, I have uh, a rotator going here right now that there's literally thousands, thousands of clicks per day uh, going to this rotator and there's literally uh, I'll blow this up here so you can kind of see it. There's there's 182 people in this rotator. Okay, there's 182 people in this rotator. So if I go over here and I just kind of click on uh, show URLs, you know, you can see right here, like all these people that are in here, okay? And we did a, in this particular rotator, we did a uh, fulfillment, okay? Did a fulfillment uh, rotator. So you can see right here, some of these say pause, which mean that uh, we gave them a hundred clicks. So once the hundred clicks got delivered, it literally automatically shuts off the link and it sends it to the next uh, person, okay? So here there's 2,900 clicks still remaining. Okay, 2,900 clicks remaining in this specific rotator. So let me go ahead and show you how to get something like that set up. So let me just double check this. I think this is done as, oh, this is done as random. All right, so either way, we're gonna go ahead and get this set up for you. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna hit new rotator, okay? And we don't need to worry about a pixel like we did. This is not for leads. We're not measuring opt-ins on this specific rotator. We're just gonna set up a bulk, you know, I'm gonna show you how to set up a bunch of different people in a link rotator, okay? So you don't need the tracking pixels uh, unless that's specifically what you're looking to do, okay? So we're gonna call this again, CM test. And we'll do this, um, uh, we'll just put, CM test uh, large, large and in charge rotator. Okay. And we'll just call this rotator test. Okay. Now, the different modes, depending on what specifically you need, there's a few different ways to look at this. Uh, if you're going to, let's say you're going to do this for your team, I'll, I'll show you one way right here, and you can. You could do sequential, which means the links are going to go in a specific order. People are going to get the traffic in a specific order. If you want someone to get more traffic than others, you know, you can go in sequential. Okay. If you want random, and that's what we'll show here. Okay. So let's just say that you're going to drive a thousand clicks a week to, you know, 
10 of your team members, right? We'll just use big round numbers. You're gonna drive a thousand clicks and we're gonna send that traffic to 10 different team members, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select, and you don't really care, you know, who gets it in what order, and you could use random. So the rotator is just gonna work on a random sequence, all right? And where do you want to send repeat clicks to? Do you want it to go to the same exact URL and then it becomes, you know, you have more total clicks than unique clicks? Or let's say someone clicks on a link and they land on somebody's page and then they back out, whether it be an ad or an email or a banner or whatever it is. And then they go back in and they click again. Where do you want repeats to go? Do you want them to go to the same link or do you want them to go to a new link, right? And go to somebody else. So as an example, I like to select random URL. So that way you're kind of getting the most out of your clicks versus having, you know, someone keep going back to the same link. It also fulfills the overall clicks a little bit quicker. Okay. So backup URL. So if I was going to set this up for my team in this example, the backup URL would basically be me. All right. So where the backup URL is going to come into play is let's say you're driving, you know, you're driving a thousand clicks to 10 team members. So let's do some easy math. They're going to get a hundred clicks each, right? But let's say that your ad provider delivers 1200 clicks, right? And I'll, sh I'll show you once we get in here, how you're going to sort all this stuff out. But let's just say that, you know, your ad provider delivers 1200 clicks instead of a thousand clicks. Well, guess what? If you fulfill those 10 links that you have in there and they all get 100 each there's going to be an extra 200 clicks where do they go they're going to go to this backup url okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go we're going to grab our capture page link okay so we'll copy that and we'll use that okay we're going to use that as the backup url and then we're just going to hit create rotator ba boom there it is right there okay so now what we're going to do okay and I'm gonna go back to, let's try to find this. Okay, so CM test row. So now we have our rotator set up. We're doing random clicks and the repeat clicks are gonna go to a random link. It's not gonna go to the same link. So that's how we set that up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding. We're gonna take our 10 team members. I'm not gonna do all 10. You get the point once you start putting one or two of these in there. But now we're gonna start adding the rotator links in there. So we're gonna add our 10 team members in there. So hypothetically, uh, let's just say we're gonna come back to our page builder here. And let's just hypothetically say that uh, these are our team members links. So I'm just gonna grab one here. Okay. Then we're gonna come back here. Now, this is it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, okay? So let's use the big numbers that we were using. We're gonna send a thousand clicks to 10 people. So it's gonna be a hundred clicks each. And let's just say that this link, hypothetically, their name is Bob. This is Bob's link. So we're gonna go here to the little wrench. We're gonna hit add URL, okay? We're gonna name this Bob. Let's just say this is, this is Bob Demo's link. Hey, Bob Demo. We're gonna take Bob Demo's link. We're gonna paste it in there. Now, before we hit add URL, okay, we're gonna go to URL settings, all right? And the max clicks that we want Bob to get is 100, okay? Now, if you were doing sequential, this is where you would put a position number in there. Who do you want first? Who do you want second? Who do you want third? That would be for sequential. But since we're not doing that, we're doing random, it really doesn't matter. We just know the max clicks that we wanna give our team member is 100, okay? So once you put that in there, then you hit add URL and boom, that's in there. Let's say hypothetically now Bob's link is actively in the rotator and good to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab another link and we'll just come over here, go page here, boom, grab another link. Now, uh, let's say that this was Sue. We got Sue's link. So we got Bob, we got Sue. We're gonna enter Sue's link, come back over here, hit the wrench, hit add URL. Same thing, we got Sue demo, pop Sue's link in there, come back over here to URL settings. We set this to a hundred, okay? You see in the, you seeing how this is working so far? So now, as you can see right here, we have two rotator links in there, set to a hundred links, hundred clicks each, total of 200 clicks, okay? 
Now, just for yucks, we'll just go add uh, one more and I'll show you real quick. I'll show you what this is gonna end up looking like here. So we'll come back over here. I'm just gonna grab another, another capture page link. Boom, copy, back over here. You can also add URL from here versus going and clicking on the range. Now let's say this uh, person's name is, uh, we'll just call them Andrew, Andrew Demo. Hey, Andrew Demo. Again, paste the Andrew's link in there. URL settings, click on 100, add URL. So now look at this, check it out. So you see right here, it says outstanding clicks, 300. That means that because you set each person that they're going to receive a total of 100 clicks and you would just repeat this process, put your 10 people in there, there will be your thousand clicks, okay? So what's gonna happen is every time, let's say you're running ads, you're running traffic, whatever it is, you have this set up in an email, the first click is gonna come in and it's gonna go in a random order. It may go to Bob, it may go to Sue, it may go to Andrew, but let's say hypothetically, it goes to Bob, someone clicks on the ad, they hit Bob's link, all right? Then the next person that clicks in, they're most likely gonna land on another link, you know, Andrew's link, Sue's link, whatever. And it's just gonna randomly go and fulfill that. And each time a click goes to that, you'll see it count here, you know, over in the unique click. And then as soon as that hits 100, it's gonna shut off and it's gonna go from active over to paused. And then if there's any extra spill, if there's any extra traffic, okay, where that's gonna go is again, back to your, all right, that's gonna go back to your, your backup URL. Okay, if there's any extra clicks beyond the thousand or beyond the hundred in this specific example, it's gonna go back to your backup link, your backup URL. Okay, so that's why you put it in there. It's not part of the rotator, it's just, it's a just in case link. So hope this makes sense. Hope you know how to set up a basic click magic rotator. It's relatively simple to do. Just go back, watch this video if you need to. And other than that, my friend, I hope you got value from this click magic tutorial. If you haven't created a click magic account, a link in the description down below. If you've made it to this point in the video, if you have watched all the other videos in this click magic tutorial series, awesome, appreciate that. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. If you got value from this training series, hit that subscribe button, hit the like and uh, drop a comment down below and let me know maybe some aha nuggets that you got from this series. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Like I said, if you don't have a ClickMagic account and you wanna take a two week free trial, link in the description down below, you can go do that and get started now. Get in there, mess around, play around with it, track your data because plain and simple, what you measure improves and it just makes you a better business owner. So like I said, if you made it to this point in the video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe and get subscribed to the channel, ring the bell, get notified anytime I post new content here on YouTube. And also, if you're ready to get started with Click Magic, you know what to do. If you haven't seen any of the other videos in this Click Magic series, hit those links down below and you can go see the entire series because if you're just watching it from this video, you might be like, ah, mind blown. I don't really know how to set all this stuff up. You need to go back to the first video, start from scratch, watch from there, watch the videos a few times if you need to. But just like anything, the more that you do it, the easier it gets. So again, hope you got value from this Click Magic tutorial series. And I will see you, my friend, in the next video here on my channel. Have an awesome day and we'll see you there. Take care.